Hey everybody! Welcome back to Agent A. So, I have to imagine we're using the corks here. And then if I if I turn on the water, um, it will throw out the fish bones so I can give them to the cat, right? That's got to be it. I have to go all the way outside to turn the water back on, don't I? Oh gosh, that seems like a, a lot of work. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and uh, clear my inventory. Just get rid of these wedges. Wedgend! Yes, okay. Oh, great. Okay, good, good, good. Now my inventory is not so... not so frightening to me. So let's see. We needed to fix this. Oh, it's, n it's the right type of bull, but the old one is stuck. Smash it with the hammer! Oh. Well, that, that was a terrible idea. I got a blinking item for the, um... <laughs> oh. Oh, jeez. For the area in the garage. Uh, let's put this light bulb back in place. And that unlocks the door. Obviously, her door is connected by a light bulb. Yes! Yes, 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 indeed. So let's turn on the water here. I am the god of water. Flow, flow, my watery minion. <laughs> Wait. This has got to be the electrical key, right? Same symbol. Or maybe this is the item for the garage. I'm not sure. What's this? It doesn't look like I have anything... I can interact with here. So I'm just going to go back. So I've got a, a fuse, a pulsing item, and an oil can. Let's see, what are those? Are those pieces? Those are just broken pieces of light bulb, which I should probably not touch or step on. Okay, going back over here. Now this spout is the one that's working, right? And now I have some fish bones, which I'll give to the cat. But first, which one of these items is the item that goes here? This one. Aha, slider puzzle. Looks like I need to slide um, the pieces around. Just slide all these pieces around until I can move this piece to the far right. Okay, so that looks complicated. Okay, I'll move this piece to the left, move these pieces down. Hmm, so this big piece on the, the, this big piece up here, right? I imagine I have to move it all the way down. I have to move it all the way down to move this left and right piece to the far right. Let's see. Hmm. another big piece. It's like a three by one piece, just like the one that I'm, uh, just like this purple one that's in my way. So those two big pieces have to be all the way down. So how do I do that? What if I move all these pieces down into the corner? So I can move this piece right and then move this piece all the way up. Uh, move this piece up, move these two pieces right so I can move this piece all the way down and then move my, uh, yellow piece one to the right. That's got to be it. I think I've cracked the code. So now I can move this piece up. Now I can move these pieces all the way left, so I can move those two pieces down. This one left, those two pieces up. That's probably not the fastest solution for that puzzle. I did a lot of playing around, but I think I did it. Did I turn on something in the pool? I hope I did. I hope I did. Seriously, I, I, if I didn't, I, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Let's see, can I use my oil can and fill it with water and then use that to get the thing in the drain? Aha! Uh -huh. Give me
me a wedge piece. This is still very much electrified, though. Very, very electrified. Let's see that cat. I think we're almost done with the wedge piece puzzle. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Here, kitty. Excellent. Okay, telescope lens. Wedge piece right there. One more. Just one more. Just one more. We're going to put the lens into place here. Why hide a telescope? What is she hiding on? There's another strange symbol, I think. Oh, no, no, that's not a strange symbol. That's like zoom in, zoom out. Oh! It's the remains of the yacht. And 6331... Four-digit code 6331 on... Okay, what did, what needed the four-digit code? <laughs> we had multiple co keypads. I think it was this one. I think this one needed four digits. Oh, that's not... That's not right at all. Okay, seven is one. Nine is six. So let's see if we can find three. Three is five. So six three three run is gonna be nine five five seven. Whew. Hmm. So this is another puzzle. It looks like I need to rotate the disc so the triangles are touching. I'm just randomly guessing that is what the puzzle is. Okay, so now I've got the first two into place. Nope. So this one's got to be like this. Now I've got the first two into place. And by rotating this in place, that screws up everything up. Okay, so let's get... So first you start left. Then you go with this one. Yeah, you need to solve this puzzle from left to right. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a, that's a scanner, isn't it? Of course it doesn't accept my fingerprint. What do I put in here? Pulsing item? No idea. Hmm. Okay, so I'm back to being stumped. Perhaps the pulsing item goes here. This is pulsing. A phone. An old phone. Hmm. wonder if it has the game Snake. Now, where could I use an old phone, I wonder? I'm not sure. I guess I'll use the standby of... Uh, Checking every area of the game until inspiration strikes. Hmm, I still need to know how to use that phone. Let's see, that cat is... That cat is a big fan of the uh, fish, huh? Hmm, wait, what was that? What was that? What's this in this corner? It's just a corner. Okay! Hmm. Yeah, gosh. What can I do with that oil can? Fill it with oil, maybe? I mean... That's the obvious solution. Perhaps I fill it with water from this this filtration system. That doesn't work though. Hmm. I guess I could probably turn off this water, but like why would I? There's no need to do so anymore. Some gardening tools and there's nothing connected to uh, this area. Like there's no other room. That I can walk to uh, from this one. It looks like there's nothing I can interact with here. 
with these containers, because I already solved this puzzle. Yep, the only thing I see here is uh, using the oil can on here to get the final wedge, which I'll use for the diamond puzzle. Aha! Okay! Got myself unstuck! Yay! 